want to ask you about like elections. Do you vote every single election? Yes, I try to. Me personally, I do. Uh, did you begin uh, voting when you just came to the States? Was it kind of something that you started doing right away or, or it kind of started later? Uh, almost right away. And uh, I have been living in States for over 22 years now and I do it every year. We're talking to some people here that are like, uh, my vote doesn't matter, why vote at all? So I want to ask you, wh what would you tell this kind of person that is on the sidelines, doesn't vote at all? To me, it's very simple. I believe that uh, my job is to do what I'm responsible for. Uh, so I do my part. I believe that, yes, God has everything under control, but I want to make sure that I did my part. So that's, that's why I vote. Results, obviously sometimes we don't like it, sometimes it might be discouraging, but I still do my part. Okay. The Bible says whatever you can do, whatever your hand can do, do it. I should do my part. Okay. So that's why I vote, that's why I do what I can. Uh, and I believe that, uh, uh, yes, uh, ultimately, you know, uh, everything is under God's control but I still do my part. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being, um, you know, in the Slava community, in, in helping uh, champion, you know, to share their voice and their faith, because it's so much needed today. I feel like in our political system, uh, in our democracy, for people to stand up and say, this is what I believe. This is what I want my leaders to be. So I, I want to thank you for that. If I may, I would like to share one more fact about why I believe uh, uh, I do my part, why I vote uh, uh, almost every year, is because when we read New Testament, mm -hmm. we see that Apostle, uh, Apostle Paul, at one point, he used his citizenship. So for us, as Slavic community, uh, those who came to U.S. as refugees many years ago, for many of us, we have U.S. passport right now. So we have this either privilege or we have that right because we have U.S. passport. We have certain rights and one of them is to express ourselves, express our beliefs, express our faith and stand for biblical morals and biblical principles. So if Apostle Paul, he used his citizenship, he was a Roman citizen, why shouldn't we do the same? So I believe that is a good example for us uh, from the New Testament.